Hello everybody and thank you for viewing my video. My name is Alex Epiloni and today I will be showing you how to completely reformat a hard drive. But first, a little bit about me. I am currently a senior at Florida State University and plan to graduate in the spring of 2008. I am majoring in information technology with a focus on web application development. Over the years I have taught myself HTML, CSS, PHP, Cold Fusion, MySQL, and Oracle. I am a hardworking individual who loves to tackle challenges. I have seven years experience that I am ready to apply towards my future job. If you would like to get in contact with me, my name again is Alex Apolloni and my email is ama04e at fsu.edu. Now onto the show. For a little bit of background information, one might wish to format their hard drive in case they're installing a new operating system, reinstalling an old operating system, if they have a virus, or for security reasons. The first step is to download the Nopix Live Boot CD. In order to download the ISO file, you must first go to www.nopper.net backslash nopix backslash index minus en dot html. From there, scroll down until you see the download button. Click that button to view a list of places to download from. Any selection will work, but I like to find a dot com. Once you have found a mirror that meets your requirements, either select FTP or HTP next to your mirror. From there you will be shown a user agreement. Make sure that you read this and select accept. Once you have accepted the file, you will be shown a directory that contains the ISO file. Search for an ISO file that is English, as the one selected here shows by showing EN. Right click that file and select Save As. Select a de destination and hit OK. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. In order to save time, I will jump ahead until the file has already been downloaded. Step 2 is to bring the newly downloaded ISO onto a CD as a bootable disk. Here's how I went about burning a bootable disk. First, I opened up near a burning ROM and selected Burn a CD-ROM data file. Once it had loaded, I went to my download destination, in my case my desktop, and selected the Nopix ISO file. Once I found it, I dragged it from the right screen onto the left, and a message came up asking me if I'd like to burn the CD as a bootable CD or not. In this case, I would like to, so I select yes. It then prompted me for getting all which were already set, and I selected OK. The file then began to run as a bootable disk. Step 3 is to use your BIOS to tell your computer to boot from your CD-ROM instead of the hard drive. After the CD has been successfully burned, restart your computer and enter the BIOS settings. Once in your computer's BIOS settings, you will need to use your arrow keys to browse over to the Boot tab. From there, use the plus and minus keys to move CD-ROM drive to the top of the list. You will then save your setup. With the Nopix CD still in your CD drive, restart your computer and load up Nopix. Once loaded, use Nopix to run the DD command and reformat your hard drive. Once Nopix has loaded, open a console and type in the following commands. The first one is SU space minus space root. Then hit it. The second command is DD space if equals backslash dev backslash zero space of equals backslash dev backslash hda then hit enter. Once you have hit enter, you will be on command line. This means that Nopix is currently formatting your hard drive. Once you're shown a prompt again, your computer has been successfully cleaned.
You can then shut down Nomics by right-clicking anywhere on the desktop and selecting Log Out of Nopix. Let's review the steps that we took. The first step was to download the Nopix ISO. The second step was to burn that ISO as a bootable CD. From there, we used our BIOS to boot from CD. Our last step was to load up Nopix and run the following commands su root and then dd if dev0 of dev hda. Thank you for watching my show. Once again, I would like to tell you that my name is Alex Epiloni and I can be reached at ama04e at fsu.edu.